right, normalization, folks. This one, hmm, this one can be a bit controversial, so shall we say, uh, because it requires that you define what normal means. Um, I'm not one to really define what normal means, but I can work with you on normalization. The whole goal here is to take somebody that is disabled, I hate that term, but you get the idea. Somebody that's not engaging in normal behavior, oh, here we go again, um, and then you're, in, then you're trying to slowly shape their behavior or whatever to their behavior to get them to be more functional in the world in which they live, and otherwise you're normalizing them, right? Um, it is a series of progressively more typical environments that you want these kiddos to function in and you want people to function in, um, to, and you're trying, to, you're trying to normalize them. You're trying to get them to be like everybody else but not too much. You can see why it's kind of controversial because what is normal? It's just, it's weird. Um, but think about it in a classroom and it works quite well. That's where it's not, uh, that's where there's not much controversy, right? If we want the kiddos to engage in behaviors like the other kiddos in the classroom, we, we use procedures to normalize their behavior and slowly bring them up to the standard procedures that are used or standard behaviors that exist in a classroom. That's it.